The Flintstones for me that can only mean one thing. It's time to reminisce about one of my all-time favorite cartoons and sitcoms, for that matter, The Flintstones. The Flintstones Now I was born 90, 30 years after The Flintstone was released to the world in 60 generation later I actually did not even get the chance to watch the cartoon series until later in life around 10 years old in 2000. One Cartoon Network became free then Boomerang I had digital cable back in 2000 to 2001 which got me obsessed with the show as a kid the show was entertaining and kind reminded me of the Three Stooges which is probably why the show is compared to the show there were some bad episodes but I thought the show was great for its time William Hanna and partner Joseph Barbera became one of the truly legendary pairings in animation history. Together Hannah and Barbara created the Flintstones and a slew of other iconic characters that have been hugely popular and influential since the 1950s. To show their sustaining power, here's an entry on DC Comics from last year focusing on new comic books to be released based on reimaginings of several Hannah Barbara characters and stories. I'm not much in comic books so this launch may have already happened. As I perused a collection of classic Hanna-Barbera comic books, though I realized I'd absolutely loved own some of them. Practically every single classic character had his own comic book series with a parade series featuring all of them. Anyway, the characters that launched Hanna-Barbera productions in the 1950s include Yogi Bear and his Emmy Award-winning series, 58-262, Huckleberry Hun and Quick Draw McGraw. In the 60s they brought us the Jetsons in a primetime slot during the 62-63 season, The Magic the Gorilla Show, Ricochet Rabbit and Rope Along, Pumpkin Puss and Mushms, Scooby-Doo and many of all the shows produced by Hanna-Barbera, however, my absolute favorite is The Flintstones, a sitcom-style animated series influenced by The Honeymooners, another show I adore. I grew up watching Fred, Wilma, Barney and Betty along with their prehistoric surroundings and still enjoy watching them whenever time and opportunity allow. Flintstone the creators of the Flintstones holding a drawing of Fred Flintstone on August 1st 80 the collaboration between William Hanna and Joseph Barbera began in 40 when both were working in the animation department at MGM Studios. The two worked on Tom and Jerry cartoons with the first being Puss Gets the Boot 40. When MGM closed its cartoon department two decades later Hanna and Barbera decided to continue the collaboration with a focus on television. Having gained a solid reputation in theatrical shorts, Hannah and Barbara approached Columbia Screen Gems Television Studio with a storyboard for a cartoon about the adventures of dog and cat pals Rough and Ready. At the point Tom and Jerry cartoons were already enjoying success on television by way of recycled theatrical vehicles so the careers of Hannah and Barbara were on solid ground. The Rough and Ready show followed suit in the popularity department and the two animators were well on their way to making history. In 57 Hanna-Barbera launched the Huckleberry Hunt show, the first cartoon series to receive an Emmy Award. Huckleberry Hunt marked a huge step in the careers of Bill Hanna and Joe Barbera in several ways. Huckleberry served as a platform for the animators to introduce many characters, several of which became stars in their own series later. In addition, Huckleberry Hunt proved a huge hit with audiences, but not the demographic one would think. In 60 a survey revealed that more adults than children were watching Huckleberry Hunt on a regular basis, which prompted Hanna-Barbera to focus its efforts on a primetime animated series. Enter the Flintstones. Yabbit abba doo The Flintstones ran from 60 to 66 and proved such a big success with audiences of all ages that Hanna-Barbera created a space-age family to join them in primetime. That family, of course, is the Jetsons. I enjoy the Jetsons as well, but the Flintstones are the bomb diggity with their Stone Age modern appliances that talk and all else that make it a terrific comedy for people of all ages. The premise of the show parodied popular domestic situation comedies, a familiar winning formula with the added bonus of skits based on the prehistoric theme. One of my favorite gags is when you see the characters step over a crack in the ground that millions of years later was to become the Grand Canyon. You might enjoy this brief video, A History of the Flintstones. Through the years La Creme de La Creme of voice actors worked on the Flintstones, including the legendary Mel Blanc and radio and television. Great, be benaderated. Take a look at a complete list of the talents who voiced these characters here. I should note that, for me, the series lost some of its steam in its fifth season when the great Gizu started appearing. I'm not such a big fan of the alien in Bedrock. Gizu was exiled to Earth because he created a doomsday machine on his planet. To me that storyline is the Flintstones version of Jumping the Shark, but the Great Kazoo is voiced by favorite Harvey Corman who also voiced several other characters throughout the series run. 1960. The Flintstones voices. Fred Flintstone, Alan Reed Wilma Flintstone, Gene Vanderpeel Betty Rubble, Biba Nadred Barney Rubble, Mel Blanc 1960. The Flintstones voices. 
Fred Flintstone, Alan Reed, Wilma Flintstone, Gene Vanderpeel, Betty Rubble, Bebe Natured, Barney Rubble, Mel Blanc voices one of pop culture icons the Flintstones rank among the most recognizable in the world. They are still referenced in television shows and animated series, like The Simpsons and even became the subject of a hit song by the B-52s who recorded a version of the series' theme song. The characters in the Flintstones have also been used in the marketing of different products since they first aired. Among these, vitamins, cereal and beer. I can't resist sharing the following classic commercial, which aired during the series' first season. Here we see the characters advocating for Winston cigarettes, the show's sponsor on ABC. I'm not advocating smoking, by the way. Testament to the popularity of the Flintstones is the number of Hollywood and television stars that voice themselves and or their characters on the show through the years. My favorite episodes are the ones that featured Hollywood stars. I post the examples I could find below, but among the popular personalities that guest starred on the series were Ed Sullivan, Elizabeth Montgomery, Raymond Burr, Jack Dempsey. Click on each of the following movie star names to watch a clip. Anne Margaret Stoney Curtis Rock Quarry Jimmy Garg Unfortunately, I couldn't find a clip of my favorite of these, Gary Granite, but here's his picture from episode 6 of season 1, The Monster from the Tar Pit Granite Another favorite is when Fred is the Bedrock to which my favorite crossover was when Aaron and Samantha Stevens from Bewitched appeared on the Flintstones. Bell were tired. Can you blame me for loving this stuff? One classic greats crossover and a classic greats it's a matchup made in heaven. After the Flintstones' initial run on ABC concluded the show became even more popular as part of Saturday morning cartoon lineups and in syndication. That's when I ran into them. Perhaps nothing illustrates the Flintstones' popularity, however, than the number of movie adaptations, both animated and live action, and the spin-offs that began starting with Pebbles in Bam Bam 71-72 and 75-76, followed by the Flintstones' Comedy Hour 72-74, and finally the Flintstones' Kids, which appeared in 86 and ran through 89. Without a doubt, the Flintstones is one of the all-time great classic television shows. I put it up there with the monsters on my list of favorites and I'm sure millions feel just as I do about it. It's as funny a situation comedy as many consider its live ancient counterparts with great scripts and voice acting the likes of which no longer exist. It's time to revisit this legendary and enjoyable series. I need to spend more time with them myself.